It's a question for him. Um, because it happened 30 years ago. I was, mm -hmm. I was, it was BC before Catherine. So he... Um, you know, I saw you with the Golden Globes. You were wearing black, as many of the women were, to make a point. Yeah. And uh, do you think that the point was made? What do you think? Yes, you do. I think it, it was made. Um, you know, w w us women are great in numbers, as you see here. Um, and this, you know, this pendulum is going to get to a, like a, a medium, and people aren't going to be talking about it. It's not going to be on the forefront of everyone's lips. And, and then that's where... Everyone has to, women have to be kind to each other. That's right, right. that's right. Mm -hmm. Hold, yeah. The Me Too um, movement has been taking a little bit of flack lately, and I know that your husband, Michael Douglas, um, came out preemptively to deny allegations yeah. of sexual assault. Did yes. you support that move? He had to come out preemptively because of what he believes in. Look, I support, I support this movement, Time's mm -hmm. Up, Me Too, 110%. Yeah. You yeah. know, Michael came out with that preemptive statement. He was articulate. He said it from the heart. He was honest, open, and, and transparent. He now has to take the next step, you know, mm -hmm. from where he goes from, from here. And, yeah. and it's a question for him. Um, because it happened 30 years ago. I was, mm -hmm. I was, it was BC before Catherine. So he... <laughs> He thought he was the king of the world and that he could humiliate me without any repercussion. When his then employee, Susan Brody, says he repeatedly used inappropriate sexual language. She says his bad behavior escalated during a work meeting at his apartment in 1989. He slid down to the floor, unbuckled his belt and put his hands inside his trousers. And I could see what he was doing. He put, and then he began to sort of fondle himself and I was very scared. Have you ever had a Me Too movement or a Me Too experience? You know, I... I, I hold my heart and say, thank the Lord, no, no. Um, I was, you know, it's, it's so, it's so hard for us in the business because you would think, you know, I, my peers have been affected, mm -hmm. but everyone's like, oh, it's Harvey, you know, it's Harvey. But unless it happens to you, you don't know. You don't know if it's true or just, it just talk, you know. Right. And it takes, you know, these women coming out, it's just, it's, it's an eye opener of the scale of, of, of what this, ha how this happened, you mm -hmm. know. I can't say I'm completely surprised because um, I think once this dam is broken in our industry, you know, there's a lot of because a lot of pent up pent up emotion, a lot of charges that are 25, 30 years old. Uh, my heart goes out for everybody that's, that's being hurt. Because I am as devastated and sick to my stomach as any human being should be with these allegations. What this has to be is the tipping point. So um, keep talking and keep supporting and, um, and keep supporting the, the victims, I guess.